G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. If you're new to my channel, I thought I'd let you guys know that I post videos every Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. Sydney time. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so, so you don't miss out on my content. Now onto the video. Thought in today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on some changes that I've made to the fish room, as well as a bit of announcement that I've got to make. First change is I've finally insulated the windows and the doors. Doesn't look that great, but this is a project I've been putting on the back burner for quite some time and I really needed to pull my finger out and get it done. As you can see, I've got a very high ceiling. So even though this room is narrow and not that long, and because of the big glass doors, I was losing a lot of heat. And as everyone knows, heat rises. So I'm getting one of my mates to help me build a fake ceiling in this room, which is gonna reduce the amount of air volume in the room that the air conditioner has to heat. One of the reasons I didn't really want to cover up the windows was because I was getting a nice transition into the morning light and into dusk. The fish weren't getting shot when I'd come into the fish room and put the lights on or turn the lights off. Also, the fish look amazing under natural sunlight. You can see in these videos here that I've taken where the sunlight is hitting the fish. They look incredible. They're, their true colours really do show. They really do pop. And that's another reason why I didn't really want to cover those windows. But that natural sunlight increases algae growth and the big one being heating the room. The running costs are just are not sustainable. So the next update is on this tank. These fish are my adult breeding pair of white Alto Lampralogus calvus. There is some algae in this tank and that's because doing my best not to disturb these fish. They have been spawning and I've had my second spawn spawn with this adult pair so I've been doing my best not to disturb this tank as much as possible. Their fry are in this tank right here and their eldest fry with the first spawn are in this tank right here. I had to cover this tank because getting up there to feed the fish and clinking the glass lid just purely by opening it was scaring them and shocking them so much so that they were slowly dying. And you can see them all there swimming around. What I had to do was cover the tank and work out a way to feed these fish without disturbing them. And basically I run airline hose from this tank to about here. I use my syringe to put food into that airline hose and the food goes into the tank and feeds the fish. I was losing one to two, maybe sometimes three a day for about a week or two and I couldn't work out what it was. And in the end I realized it was because I was basically shocking the fish by just opening the glass lid. I've also duct taped that glass lid to stop the clinking sounds. They have not died since I made those changes. So I've got about 50 in this tank here. In this tank there's about 65 fry. Uh, you can see them hopping around there, right at the bottom of the tank. And the parents are doing really well. So that's the male there. And behind these rocks in the back corner here the f is the female. She generally stays there when they're not spawning. The next little update that I'm gonna give you guys is on my new rack and it involves my bristle nose breeding pair. You can see the big male, he's just sitting at the entrance of the cave there. You can see the female at the back there, she's quite large underneath that sponge filter. They haven't spawned for about two weeks, which is a surprise for me, but that's good because this male, it's nice that he's getting a bit of a break. He's raised four lots of fry since February uh, to May, so he needs a bit of a break. I pulled out about 100 fry out of this tank a few days ago, and I'll show you a before video of the tank and what it looks like now. I let that tank get very, very green because I had all the intention of putting my largest bristlenose fry in that tank. They cleaned up that algae within 24 hours. These guys do not stop eating and I keep them fed. I've always got a constant food source in this tank for them. So what you're seeing here is some cauliflower, leaves that, are, that you find on the bottom of a cauliflower that you basically throw away, boil them up, cut them open so they can get into the good juicy bits, not the skin part, because the skin is a bit tough for them to break through. So if you split the leaf open, they're able to get into the softer tissue and eat it. You might also notice the leaf matter that I've got at the bottom of the tank. They are feeding off that as well. I haven't put an Indian almond leaf in here. Those are Japanese maple leaves that are falling in my backyard. Free food, free leaf matter. Hopefully we'll soften the water a little bit for these guys as well. Four by two by two foot tank and that's now being used as a grow out tank as well even though I've got my Ventralis Tritica in here. I've got two males, I probably possibly have three males of course and one female. The female being that fish there and these guys being the three males. You can see these two males are colouring up nicely. One has a pit here, other male has a pit here and they display to each other all the time, as you can see there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful looking Tanganyikan fish. And the announcement that I've got to make is, I have sold my first fish from my fish room. So I'm really stoked about that. And what I've sold is my largest gold Oki fry. 
They are beautiful little fish. You can see they're getting their golden color now that they're starting to mature up. And they've got a beautiful purple iridescence on their bodies. These guys are going down to Melbourne. I didn't really intend to ship fish, but I'm going to do it for, on this occasion. It was quite the runaround with a couple of shipping companies, but I found that Toll do ship fish and one of their sales reps has really been helping me out with the process. Unfortunately, yeah, I do have to drive to the airport, but that's fine. I'm happy to do it on this occasion, but it is not something I'm looking to do long term. I've sold 18 Ockies, Neolamprologus Ocelatus Gold Fry in one transaction. So stoked about that. Because as you can see, I've got quite a lot of fry to sell that are coming up. Oh, if you guys are interested in Neolamprologus Brevis or Lamprologus Ocelatus Gold Fry, hit me up. And you're in Sydney, of course. Hit me up and we'll arrange a meetup. I'll sell some to you. If you watch my videos, you'll know what I feed these fish. I just don't feed them flakes or pellet food. I feed them a wide range of foods. I don't have fillers like yeast and oats and wheat. Foods that fish generally would not eat in the wild. These fish are omnivores, so I feed them brine shrimp, daphnia, mysis shrimp, actual prawns and fish. So that's what these fish have been raised on. I also feed them live uh, microworms, baby brine shrimp, and live daphnia. This is my live daphnia tank. Let's see how many there are. All swimming around. So these fish, I feed them really quality foods on purpose to raise them as, as well as I can to make them as strong and, and as healthy and as colourful as I could get them. Got the bristlenose catfish, there's about 90 in here. They're almost at the selling size, you can see this guy here. How large is that? It's about four to five centimetres. Some of them are getting that, to that size now, so I'll be able to sell them soon as well. And I've got antler guppies. So, these are purebred antler guppies. There's no crossbreeding involved. So what you see here is what you will get. You won't get any weird fantail snake skin kind of looking things coming out. They will all look the same. So if you're also after some antler guppies, hit me up. There you go, guys. My update on some of the changes I've made to the fish room in the past week, two weeks. And uh, my announcement that I'm finally selling some fish from the fish room. So that's really great. I'm really excited about that, as you can probably tell. Anyway, guys. Again, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment, and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload a video because YouTube doesn't do it. But yeah, I'll wrap this one up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.